Dear Google, I'm a teacher here in Dubai and as part of teaching here in Dubai, I taught for 15 weeks using Google Classroom as a learning management system. Not only that, as I've returned to school, I've continually used Google Classroom to support learning within the classroom. Now, I think Google Classroom is a fantastic learning management platform. In fact, I've enjoyed it so much and got used to using it so much that I've actually created a range of different tutorials to support teachers around the world with using Google Classroom and a range of other features that Google creates. However, although Google Classroom is fantastic, there are a few little issues. If only one of the issues that I present within this video is rectified or added into Google Classroom, it will make using Google Classroom that little bit more efficient, making teachers' lives around the world a little bit easier at a time where it couldn't be more useful. So Google, you're probably not watching this, however, fingers crossed you are. If you are a teacher, perhaps we can try and make this video a little bit louder to Google so that they watch something along these lines and perhaps add some of these features in. Fingers crossed. So let's start off with point one, which is the reason I wanted to make this video, and it is deleting assignments off the feed. Now, I teach seven to eight-year-olds, and with seven to eight-year-olds, some of the youngest in our school, using it, it can sometimes be a little bit daunting when they click onto the screen and become overwhelmed with a load of different text. Now, when the children click onto it, I want it to be as clear as possible. However, as a teacher, during the evenings, I spend a large amount of time deleting assignments, but because it's multiple clicks to delete one assignment, it takes me a long time to click, delete, click, delete, click, delete. If I was able to just simply tap a range of different assignments and delete them, it would make my life a lot easier. The reuse button is a fantastic tool that you've integrated into your software. It really does support educators in being able to work collaboratively. Now, although I love it so much, there are a couple of things that you could do to make this even better. First things first is add a search function into the reuse post place. That would allow teachers to search for posts that they've recently created and then be able to either put it on theirs or other teachers that they're working collaboratively with. In addition from that, the reuse post wouldn't be used as much if teachers were able to simply schedule assignments to different classes. Now, I know that I work in a full form entry school, which means there's four classes per my year. And to do that, when I create an assignment for maths, for example, I need to reuse post, reuse post, reuse post for other classes too. Now, if I were able to just simply get onto it and tap the classes that I want to assign or schedule the post for, it would make life a lot more efficient and would save me opening up other classes. While we're on the topic of managing assignments that have been submitted, I really like the way that I'm able to give feedback as the children are doing work. One thing I struggle with is children returning work once I've marked it. So children will complete work, hand it in. I finish marking the work and I return it to them. I then come back to the assignment to see if any other children have handed in their assignments and then notice that the rest of the class have then decided to resubmit the assignment, which can then become extremely time consuming as I then need to try and remember who's uh, submitted the assignment and who is just simply handed it in for the first time. So to simply tick an attached box or something along those lines would make my life so much easier and I can imagine many of the teachers around the world. While we're on the topic of giving assignments grades, it would be great to get rid of the mark 100. Not all schools around the world use a grading system out of 100, some use letters, some use a completely different system such as here in the UK we use W's and S's for working towards and, and secure and things like that. So having that system available could make lives a little bit easier for teachers around the world. As I mentioned previously, the topic section can become quite daunting for children. Now I have previously mentioned in another video to try and use emojis to support those children who are younger with navigating through the topic section. However, there is more that Google could do to support with younger children trying to access Google Classroom. Topic section could be split into color-coded sections. In addition, those topics could then be collapsible where the children are able to see all the different topics and then open them up and see the assignments within that. Now, if we were to think even deeper, they could also have subtopics. So for example, if you look at maths, there's so many different strands for maths. So you could tap on maths and simply see the different weeks, which will allow 
teachers to be a little bit more efficient with their time, setting works through different weeks without fearing about the fact that they're going to set too many assignments. And last but not least is the ability to move assignments around. Sometimes it can take an extremely long amount of time to move single assignments up and down and it can be quite cumbersome. So being able to tap a range of assignments and drag them into a new topic would be fantastic too. And there is my extremely short letter to Google to hopefully benefit Google Classroom and many teachers around the world. Fingers crossed we can make this video a bit louder so that Google is able to support Google Classroom to do something about development. If you enjoyed the video and think that this would be helpful for other teachers, feel free to share it. In addition, feel free to like the video, that helps with the YouTube algorithm and as Google owns YouTube, perhaps this is another avenue where YouTube will be able to recommend these things to Google. Who knows? If you are new to the channel and want to see some of my other tutorials, feel free to subscribe, it is free and really helps my channel out. Hopefully I will see you in the next one. Until then, bye bye.